There is so much environmental news going on these days, I don't even know where to start. Every day there's a new warning about something going on about the uh, world climate. But let's just concentrate on Greenland today and the massive melting that is taking place now on Greenland. So the way they know how much is melting is by the runoff, the river amounts, wherever they're flowing, they measure those and you can tell whether the glacier is melting or not melting or about staying the same. You have the whole whole uh, health of a glacier when you measure it that way. So what they have found that the melting has increased by 50 percent since the early 1800s, the industrial age. In fact, they have found that there's more melting now than there has been over 7,000 years and beyond. Beyond that is kind of hard to tell, but obviously if you can measure 7,000 years back and you know that you're melting faster than at any other time. Just using the brain, we're melting. By the way, it was the Woods Hole Institute of Oceanographics. They're the ones that did the study on this. Okay, let's go over to the graph and show you how much ice loss they have recorded and what it looks like. As you can see, it looks pretty bad. The brown areas, the darker the brown, the more melt. The ice sheet is melting. And then again, look at the date. That's not too recent. So can you imagine what it looks like now? As many people have warned us that we must slow down or almost stop altogether greenhouse gases. One of them is CO2. What was so shocking is the readings we just had. December 3rd, 2017 saw 407.04. That's high enough. But in December 3rd, 2018, we're seeing 409.18 parts per million. Now remember, we're supposed to be about 280, 290, no higher than 350. That particular greenhouse gas is now skyrocketing. So what greenhouse gases contribute how much to the overall greenhouse gas emissions throughout the world? We'll go from the most powerful to the least powerful greenhouse gas. Powerful means it traps more heat in than can escape. We'll start out with fluorinated gases or F gases. These gases were to replace CFCs in refrigerators and different types of uh, equipment that needed coolant. But unfortunately, as you've seen in, in the uh, earlier videos, we talk about how CFCs are starting to be manufactured again somewhere in some Asian country, probably China. Nitrous oxide. Most of the use of mon uh, nitrous oxide is in, is in agriculture, helping the meat industry. Best way to get rid of uh, the second most powerful greenhouse gas is stop eating meat, become a vegetarian. That's at 6% of the overall greenhouse gases. Fluorinated gases were at 3%. Methane is at 10% and CO2 is at 81%. Methane is also climbing through the roof and is the third most powerful greenhouse gas. Methane also is caused by agriculture, meat production especially. That's why I keep saying over and over, if you can stop eating meat or lower your meat consumption, you can't imagine how much good that is for the planet. And of course CO2 emissions at 81% of overall emissions are the last strength of greenhouse gases. This is the gas that if you reduce quite a bit you can really get rid of this greenhouse gas problem. The others are so low anyway and it's easy enough to lower those just by what you consume by eating meat. Less meat, better quality of life. Unfortunately, the melting of Greenland is helping by contributing to sea level rise. I was just over in the North Bay yesterday and they had a high tide 
which was really high. But there are higher tides coming. Usually, these high tides, when they're accompanied with a storm, can cause major flooding. But this year, we're having very mild weather, not too hard of rains, and hopefully no flooding this year. So unfortunately, it looks like Ray Taliaferro, the uh, great liberal left progressive talk show host of the 80s, the 70s and the 80s, and the early 90s, was found dead. We kind of thought so. I'm pretty sure it was his wife. It's up to the investigators to find out. If I ever hear anything more, I'll let you guys know. So Ray, unfortunately, this is goodbye. I listened to you for years and years. You changed how I look upon the planet. And you did help many others understand how things really are. So, until next time.